Less than a year into its meteoric rise, the company behind ChatGPT OpenAI has just unveiled its vision for the future of its artificial intelligence technology during its first developer conference. CEO Sam Altman told a crowd of 900 people that eventually you'll just ask the computer for what you need and it'll do all of these tasks for you. Nadella also joined Sam on stage. He emphasized Microsoft's role as a business partner. The company shares its data centers with OpenAI to give them the computing power they need to build more advanced models. I think we have the best partnership in tech. I'm excited for us to build AGI together, Sam Altman said, referencing his goal to build an artificial general intelligence that can perform just as well as or even better than humans in a wide variety of tasks. All right, guys, let's dive into things a bit deeper. Here's everything you need to know. The release of GPT-4 Turbo was officially announced, and it comes as an update to the existing GPT-4 model, bringing with it access to much newer knowledge. The latest version is now trained on information dating to April 2023. This, of course, includes info about world and cultural events also. I think that's a hefty update, no doubt, since previous versions were only trained on information dating to September 2021. OpenAI claims that their AI model will be more powerful while simultaneously being cheaper than its predecessors. It should now be able to stay on topic for a much longer time than the current model. Which is huge news, honestly. If you've interacted with large language models before, you'll know that they go off topic if the conversation goes on for too long. This can result in some pretty unhinged responses for sure, but we shouldn't have to worry about this while using GPT-4 Turbo. The company also says that Turbo does a better job at following instructions carefully. It will also support images, text-to-speech, and it still offers DAL E3 integration. That's a must-have for me, guys, honestly. So, lastly, OpenAI joins Google and Microsoft in saying that it will take legal responsibility if its customers are sued for copyright infringement. The company announced a program called Copyright Shield, which it said will protect businesses using the AI company's products from copyright claims. Let us know what you think about these new announcements in the comments. For more coverage on the latest AI tech releases and news, please consider subscribing. Until the next one, thanks for watching.